Good morning everybody and a very warm welcome to Alton in Hampshire and today you are joining me for a little stroll because we're going to have a little bit of a preview to this weekend's diesel gala on the Watercrest line so it's today's Thursday and the diesel gala is on Friday, Saturday and Sunday and basically I'm heading towards Alton station because what's going to happen there is that some of the locos from the diesel gala are all due today um, so basically we've got the HST which is due shortly so that's the first one that's coming to Alton and um, and then an hour later we've got the 50s turning up all being well and um, according to real-time trains they're both actually scheduled pretty much on time um, I mean obviously give or take 10 minutes or so but they are pretty much on time so that's really cool the 59 is apparently due in Alton tonight at 10 o'clock so um, I will probably end up going back out at 10 o'clock to see it arrive at Alton station so that'll be an evening kind of dark um, but yeah it'll be good just to see it arrive because it's just kind of like exclusive footage really of it arriving and hopefully because of everybody's going to be coming um, over the weekend that today hopefully there won't be too many people knocking about um, at the station so I should get some good footage without being interrupted by too many people now as you can see the weather here in Hampshire is absolutely stunning today it's absolutely gorgeous it hasn't always been like this so I'm not exactly sure what the score is going to be for this weekend so hopefully the weather will be like this but I don't think it will be I think it's going to be more like overcast it's not due to rain so as long as it doesn't rain then it should all should be good but I'm just looking forward just to having a great weekend with friends youtubers and like I said if you see me knocking around um, then by all means please say hello um, there is a slight alteration to Friday as I will be going on Friday but I might I'm not exactly sure what time I'm going to be going or be there from um, because I'm just I'm waiting on a special delivery tomorrow now so basically that might stop me from getting there as early as I would like but hopefully we will get there so we're now just going to head off to the main road and um, like I said I'll speak to you shortly in Alton Station bye for now so we're on platform three at the moment and um, he, I've just spoken to the gentleman who's one of the volunteers here and he's kindly let me kind of come onto this platform here and it's just so nice I just just to show you what it's like here actually it is really really nice so basically what they're saying what he said to me was is that the Hampshire unit is he, sitting here uh, because they want to just want to bring it to the public attention because they want to do some crowdfunding on it because obviously cosmetically they said it needs quite a bit of work um, and I think like I said mechanically I think it's sound but it's just uh, cosmetically it needs a lot of work it's very tatty and um, I think it's had a few leaks and stuff like that so but it's always wonderful to see it and I've got some lovely memories riding on this thing and like I said it's such a pity because for me I really do like the idea of being of traveling on this I've got some really fond memories of traveling on this thing and um, apparently that I was also told and it's been confirmed that um, here you go let's have a look at the station and this is the thing you see coming today nobody's really expected to be here today so it's a good day just to come here and just to show you guys around Alton station platforms paraphernalia that you're getting so like you've got the speaker system that, that's just so cool so what he said to me was that um, you know, vintage, vintage. So what he said to me is that both the HST and the 50s are due um, on platform two, which is where this class 450 is currently. Um, I'm just seeing if you can. I'm sure you can take a picture, can't you? Oh, I can. No. So he said, oh, you can walk along the platform as long as, you know, you stick to the public areas, so. 
So as you can sort of see from this end, you can sort of see the run round that you get down here. Train sort of uncouple here, go down to the bottom there, and then reverse back onto this line, which is right next to the Hampshire unit. So this for 450 is due out. So basically there won't be any more trains on this platform until the HST turns up. And the HST is going to turn up on platform two, which is this one here. And off goes the 450. Bye bye. And that is off to London Waterloo. So if you're coming by train, you literally just take the train from London Waterloo or Clapham Junction. And if you need to change, you can change up Woking and get on the Alton train. Alton's at the end of the line, at the, on the branch line, and you can get on that, come all the way here, and then all you have to do is go from platform two. There it is. And then onto platform three, which is this one here. Oh, this is so exciting. And then we've got an hour to wait and then the 50s will be here. But I'm, what I'm hoping for is that, these, that the HSTs, when they come, they won't just go straight through the platform and onto the watercrest line. I'm hoping that they're gonna just um, stop at the end of the platform and then I can take some photographs of it. Ah, you're, uh, Adam's here. Oh, am I on camera? Well, not quite yet, but... Oh. <laughs> no, because I'm facing the right way for the H... Say hello, come say hello then. Hello. He works Welcome here. to Alton, the best station in the south. So you reckon. <laughs> Do you want to say hello? There's Dave. Hi. Yeah, there you go. He's, he's one of the drivers, so... Actually, I've got a YouTuber who's also... Danny from, uh, from Over Junction, he's actually a driver for South Western Railway as well. Um, I don't think, I'm not sure, can't remember what line he does now, but he is coming tomorrow. I think I can hear it. I'm just kind of like paranoid that it's, um, that I'm going to chin wagging. You got enough hands for that? You should have brought yeah. a tripod. You've not got a tripod for this. Oh no, I don't have all those. So who's manning the ticket booth if you're out here? This is my official break. Oh, okay. If you get another official break in, the, in an hour when the 50s turn up. <laughs> oh, possibly. Apparently they're both running on time, more or less. In about an hour's time, is it? Well, I've been keeping an eye on real time trains and they're both scheduled. What's coming in? Uh, there's, there's, there's the HSTs now, and then in an hour, there's the 250s. And if you're still working tonight at 10 o'clock, apparently the 59's coming in. The freight, yeah, the freight liner is sending a 59 tonight. But well, I'm sure you'll be fast asleep in your bed. Don't you? Are you based at Farnham? Oh, okay. Yeah. Should be here any second now. Well, when I last checked, it was it was on time and it was at Farnham and it's scheduled here two minutes early. I'm just waiting to hear that distinctive. I can't remember what engine it's got. And it's not a Valenta, is it? It's an MTU, isn't it? I think in it. Sorry, that's me being nerdy now. Okay, here it is. I can see it. It's coming. I can see it. Get your camera out, exactly. Everyone's got the... There's quite a lot of people here on the platform now. This is a historic moment here at Alton Station. Never had a HST up here. Here it comes, I can see it. I'm glad they didn't send one of those kind of manky ones that they haven't repainted yet. They've sent the proper ones. I hope it stops so we can get some photographs. Oh my, this is epic. Excellent stuff. I look forward to riding behind this tomorrow. Ace, the first time we've got HSTs up here, up at Alton.
absolutely wonderful. I hope it stops further down so we can go for a quick sort of camera shot. We are making our way down towards the HST. Hopefully it won't go straight onto the watercrest line just yet. Hopefully we've got a few minutes to take some photographs, get some close-up shots of it. The weather's turned a little bit, it's got a bit darker, but it's still fabulous, it's absolutely epic. Oh, look at that, a HST here in Alton. Oh, how wicked. This is absolutely epic. Adam's there doing some filming. I'm not sure, quite sure what he's filming. I think he's probably filming himself like I do. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, let's see if we take some photographs. Check this out. Oh, this is ace. This is what I'm saying. That tomorrow you might not get this kind of sort of close up and these views. And I mean, as you can see, there's quite a lot of people down at this end. occasion oh this is so cool yeah I am yeah I am indeed Here we go. I'm going to shut up now so you can listen to it. Oh. What a preview to the diesel gala. goes. I look forward to a ride on her tomorrow. Well, I, I don't know what you thought of that, but I totally absolutely enjoyed it and a lot of people enjoyed it. Um, this South West, Western Railway 450 right next door to me the driver was taking, was taking some footage of it. Um, we had the guard come out and he was taking some footage of it. So it was like, and there was quite a number of people here. My apologies for the shaky camera work. We're gonna try and extend this out a bit better. Um, and that was like a historic moment to see a HST here, up here at Alton for the first time. It actually made the local Gazette, the, well, the Basingstoke Gazette, um, to say that it's going to come up and Rail well, Adventure didn't fail to disappoint. So I'm really looking forward to having a ride behind that. Um, that should be tomorrow and I'll be here Saturday also. Um, but stay tuned for part two because um, part two is literally only a few seconds for you. Um, for me, I've got to wait here about another 40 minutes or so, 45 minutes, because the 50 is due. And from what I can tell, that is still actually running to time. So that should be here in about 40 minutes or so, about half past two. Um, it's about, I don't even know what time it is, so I'll have a quick little trip at the time. It's 1.38, so, so it's due here in just under an hour, basically. Um, so what we'll do is I'll take some footage of this 50, uh, 450 I should say, not 50, 450 going, and um, we'll have to hang around for the, the 
part two instalment. I mean, it's been cracking. I mean, it's well worth coming out today, honestly. I'll be coming out tonight to see the 59 arrive as well because to come out and see the Hampshire unit, which is like my favourite one, you know, because that's the one that's based here and I, I like to love it and adore it. Um, so I hope they can raise some money to get it um, up and running again. So to see that and then this weekend promises to be epic. So like I said, just to reiterate, it's on tomorrow, which is Friday the 12th, Saturday the 13th, and Sunday the 14th of July, 24. Um, and like I said, if you want to come up by rail, like I said, as you can see behind me, you come up on the main line on the Southwestern Railway, um, it more than likely be a 450. Occasionally they send a, a 444 or a 458, but it's mainly 450s, direct from London Waterloo and you can get on at Clapham Junction or we'll go to Woking and change at Woking to come up here on the branch. And all you have to do is switch from this platform to that platform to get onto the Watercrest line. So it couldn't be easier if you're traveling by train. If you've got a car and you want to come in your car, then take your car over to Rockley Station and that's where all the parking facilities. Oh, okay, so just to listen to the announcement. So if you want to, to bring your car, then go to Rockley Station, that's where all the parking facilities are, that's where the workshops are, and if you do come, just have a wonderful day, and if you see me, please feel free to say hello. So, I'll see you shortly for the 50s. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's a bit of bonus footage for you, whilst we're waiting for the 50s. We've got a two o'clock steamer. Apparently nicknamed the Mickey Mouse tank engine, so I've been told. There you go. Something to fill the gap, hey. Oh, it's so cool. Well, I wasn't expecting this today, but it's all good. As the 450 trundles off behind, but I think you can understand why we're gonna stay with a steamer for now. 450, you see any day of the week. I think we're about to do a run round. Lots of people now have come off this train to take some photographs. So it's just gone down to the end to do the um, whole run round procedure thing. Now it's coming back. So I'm still here at the Watercrest line, it's come up to two o'clock <clears throat> and we've got our Mickey Mouse tank which is due to leave at two o'clock so we've got about five minutes or so before it's due 
I'm just going to spin you around and then we're going to catch that one leaving. And um, so for those of you who love the steam, so you have a bit of steamy bonus footage for you on this video too. Alrighty, a few minutes later than advertised. The um, steamer is due to go. We've got a green signal, so that should be, that should be off very, very shortly. There goes the green flag, you're good to go. So that was our steamy interlude. So join me in a few moments and we'll have this part two of the um, 50s. I wasn't really expecting this, this steamer, but like I said, that was a nice little bonus. So like I said, the 50s are due pretty soon, in about 20 minutes. So speak to you shortly. So you may have heard that he's just reiterated that there was a bridge strike that's just reduced speed but they're still running bye bye So this is our usual traction that we have here in all, and it's usually 450s. Um, occasionally we do get a 444 or a 458, but generally speaking it's these 450s. So now we've made room on platform two, so the next arrival should be the 250s. So as you can see I'm still here. <laughs> the 50s are due any moment and there is the 450 which just pulled in a little short time ago. Um, I'm just going to spin you around and then we're just going to just wait for the suspense of the 50s and I'm sure you'll be able to hear them from a mile. Um, like I said, it should be 50008 in the Hanson Hall livery and it should be Rodney as well. I don't know if they're together or whether or not they're top and tail. Um, and also they should have the 4TC unit with them. So this should be good. So I'm going to spin you around and we're going to just carry on with this. So it won't be long now. Hear the um, 450 just firing up. Oh, I mean, firing up, you just sort of hear all the various electrical noises and the electrics going through the system. It's always something about just waiting on the train like this, the suspense. Here we go, folks. I can see it. I'm trying to work out whether it's top and tailed or not. Here we 
go. It's it's the Hanson Hall one first, 5008. I don't know whether Rodney's behind that or at like the back of it. Yeah, I think they are together, yeah. I'll shut my mouth now so you can listen to the noise. With the 4TC in tow. I love my hoovers. So we have choices tomorrow, which, which we want to ride on. The question becomes, the HST or the 50s first? I guess we'll have to find out tomorrow. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to enjoy this tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. See if we can get some more photographs before these 50s go. Get some footage. I'm hoping they're going to sit here for a good few minutes as we walk down the train. It has got a red signal, so we do probably have a few minutes. I guess I need to go that way. Here we go. Make sure we're fully zoomed out. Uh. Oh look, it's named after my mate. Here you go, Dave. There you go. Oh, it's going, it's going. It's got a yellow. It's actually here. I know. Trying to get a photograph now is going to be a nightmare. I think it's going to be off any second. Wait for it, listen for it. It's going to sound epic. Which do I use for my screenshot for this video? Good to go.
started cracking this weekend. I've got a beaming smile across my face that you can't see. See you tomorrow, Dave. So this concludes the end of today's video and you find me at home now. It's been a really good day. I mean, it's been more full on than I expected. I didn't expect this to be such a long video. And I was actually going to do an outro at Bolton Station. However, um, that being said, um, unbeknownst to me, when the 50s arrived, there were some people on it. And I met a fellow YouTuber that I, did, I wasn't aware of. And I met Wayne over from Dugma Junction. So Wayne, if you're watching, it was lovely to meet you. And um, so we met up, had a bit of a catch up. I took him to the Auto Model Centre, my, lo my local model shop, and I brought him back here. He had a, a look at the layout before he skedaddled back to his B&B for the weekend. And um, he's part of the Class 50 group and he'll be working with them over the weekend. So um, it was really lovely to meet him. I will throw in a photograph um, of us together at the Watercrest line. So the festivities for the weekend has well and truly begun. So, this, so thank you for watching this sort of pre-diesel gala video. And then it starts in earnest tomorrow and Saturday, Sunday. So until the next time, my name's Susanna and I live with trains. Bye bye.